In this video, we will learn about perpendicular bisectors, and specifically some properties of perpendicular bisectors and how they interact in triangles. So first, let's remember what a perpendicular bisector is. If you have a line segment, the perpendicular bisector of the line segment intersects the line segment at its midpoint, so it bisects the line segment, and crosses the line segment at a right angle, so it is perpendicular to the line segment. So the perpendicular bisector bisects it, so it creates two congruent segments, and is perpendicular to the segment, so it meets at a right angle. Now one interesting property of perpendicular bisectors is, if you have a point anywhere on the perpendicular bisector, it will be the same distance away from each end point of the original segment. So this length is the same as this length. Now that's true for any point you pick on the perpendicular bisector. So you could do the same thing right here. This segment is going to be the same length as this segment. Interestingly, the converse of this is also true. So if you just start out with some segment and you have a line through it, and you have a point on that line that is connected to the two original segments such that the two new segments are congruent to each other, that means that this line must have been the perpendicular bisector of the segment, which means that it must be perpendicular to the segment, so that must be a right angle, and these two segments must be congruent as well. Now something interesting happens when you look at a triangle and create the perpendicular bisector of all three sides. So at this point, we're going to go into Geometer's Sketchpad to investigate this. In Geometer's Sketchpad, I'm starting out with a random triangle. The first thing I'm going to do now is find the midpoint of each of the three sides of the triangle in order to start constructing the perpendicular bisectors. So there are the three midpoints. Now what I'm going to do is create a perpendicular line that goes through each of the midpoints and that is perpendicular to the segment that the midpoint is on. So now I've created those three perpendicular lines, and let's notice some things here. The first thing you should notice is that the three perpendicular bisectors meet in a point, which is interesting because three lines don't usually meet in a point. Two lines always meet in a point, but three lines don't always often intersect all in the same point. You can see with Geometer Sketchpad, I can change the triangle and make it any triangle, and those three perpendicular bisectors always meet in a point. Sometimes it's outside of the circle and sometimes it's in of the circle or even on the circle like right here, but it's always in one point. Now that point has a special name. It's called the circum circumcenter. Now the reason it's called the circumcenter is because that point where all of those perpendicular bisectors meet is actually the center of a circle which I'm going to construct right now, that goes through all three points of the original triangle. So look at that. As I move this triangle around, this circle always goes through all three points. So the circumcenter, which is created by finding the perpendicular bisectors of all three sides of the triangle, is the center of the circle that goes through the original three points of the circle. So in a triangle, the perpendicular bisectors intersect at the circumcenter, which is the center of a circle that happens to go through all three points of the original triangle. And this is really interesting because it works for any triangle.